what's up guys, Ryan G here. Uh, I just want to know what you would do if you're chilling in your house, you're like excited, you just bought some brand new guns, and all of a sudden, you get a knock on the door by three armed men claiming to be law enforcement. Now, allegedly, two of these guys are ATF agents. One of them is a state trooper. Let's take a listen at why they're there and what exactly they want from this law-abiding gun owner. Okay, that's, that's all, all, I'm, I'm all I'm doing is verifying that, look, verifying that you have it. You got two different purchases. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's all, all, I'm, I'm all I'm doing is verifying that, look, verifying that you have it. You got two different purchases. Okay. If you have them, I'm out of here. That's how quick okay. it is. Yeah. You have them with you by any chance? Are they, if, you, get, if you can unload them and bring them out, or you can go out to your foyer here, check them out by number, share number, and we're out of here. Okay. Yep. I tell you, it'll take five seconds. The reason we're out here is we're obviously gun and violence has been an uptick, so we want to make sure we've been having a lot of issues with straw purchases. And so one of the one of the things we indicators that we get is somebody makes it a large gun purchase, and then a lot of times we've been there and like, oh, those guns got took in. We're like, oh, man, so, so the idea is when you purchase more than two guns at a time, it generates a, a multiple sale report, and it comes to us, and we have to check them out. Okay. That's, that's all that is. He did nothing wrong. Did absolutely zero. Uh, I noticed that you were stopped in Philly, though, right, with one of your guns? Now, dude, I would not believe that these are actual law enforcement officers. I mean, why would you be at my house, right? Um, so my big question to you is, what would you do? Uh, if you got law enforcement there, they claim that they just want to see your guns. Like, what does that even mean? Uh, they claim that they're investigating, you know, potentially a straw purchase. But do you have any evidence that I committed a straw purchase? You know, my big question of these, uh, you know, ATF agents and, and law enforcement officer is, do you have a warrant? Um, yeah, so that's my question to you. If law enforcement came and knocked on your door and said, hey, I want to see your guns. You, you apparently just bought three guns, you know, on Tuesday that triggered a multiple handgun sale uh, form, which does notify law enforcement. Would you show them the guns? Would you allow them inside of your house? Uh, or would you ask to see a warrant? And if they couldn't produce one, tell them to just get lost. Uh, I don't know, tell me in the comments below. Now listen, as a Florida gun owner, it is your responsibility to really make sure you understand what you are legally required to do as a gun owner. It's also just as important to understand your rights because without understanding your rights, without a really deep understanding of them, it's very easy for law enforcement officers just like this to try to trample on those rights. One of the best ways you guys can learn about Florida gun law is with a copy of my book, Florida Concealed Carry Law 2022. This book is absolutely amazing. And the best part is I'm gonna give you guys a copy for free. All you gotta do is go to that URL right there, floridaconcealedcarrylaw.com. Pay a small amount for shipping and handling and we'll ship that book out to you today. Um, yeah, such a crazy story. Uh, I don't know if this is a you know, Biden administration thing, or if this is just, you know, uh, like an aggressive chief of police or something like that, aggressive ATF agents, I just don't know. Uh, but it is very concerning for me that this kind of stuff would be happening. Tell me what you guys think. And thanks for watching. Until next time, keep training and stay safe.